I'm Don Davis, Professor of Mathematics, and uh, this is Essentials of Statistics. I just wanted to do a short introduction to give you an idea of what this uh, Essentials of Statistics is about. Well, in terms of course topics, the first thing we're going to talk about is rounding numbers, and that's important because we want to be able to agree on how we write uh, various probabilities and test statistics and test values and that kind of thing. And then we want to talk about uh, percents, fractions, and decimals. Now, that's because we, we can express probabilities all three of those different ways. So it's important to be able to um, uh, convert a number uh, from one of those formats to the other two. And then we'll talk about using scientific and e-notation. Our calculators know how to do that. We have to be able to interpret what that means. And then the reason being that many of the probabilities that we use in statistics are very small numbers. And they're written in scientific notation or exponential notation. And then we'll talk about simplifying arithmetic expressions. That's just a review of how we can take a, a uh, multi-part arithmetic expression and get a final answer for it. So those first four parts are really uh, review topics. Those are, are things that you've already seen before somewhere along the lines in mathematics. Then we'll talk about evaluating functions numerically because we want to be able to take a function of x of y in terms of x and uh, write a table of values for it because we have distributions uh, called probability distributions that do exactly that. And then finally, we want to get the idea of what it's like to compute the area under a curve. Now, we won't talk about uh, uh, computing complex areas under the curve, that's reserved for the calculus, but we want to talk about computing the area under a curve for uh, you know geometric figures that we know and how we can interpret that in terms of applications. Now, for calculators that we'll be using for essentials of statistics, if you're taking uh, statistics for the health sciences, Math 1330, or a classroom version of Math 1550 statistics, you want to use this calculator here, the Casio FX300EX. There's also a plus version that you see here that's uh, the one that's really on the market right now and primarily uh, in use. You can purchase this at the um, uh, the campus bookstore, or you can get it at Staples. You can also get it at Office Max, Best Buy, or Walmart. If you're taking um, statistics online, and in particular Math 1550 online, you want to use a graphing calculator for that because that has the whole statistical program package in, uh, right inside it. And that's the Texas Instruments TI-83 or TI-84. Uh, the TI-83s really aren't manufactured now, so you'd, if you got one of those, it would be a used one. Uh, the TI-84 is the one on the market now. And those same places I talked about, um, whether it be the Campus Bookstore, Staples, uh, Office Max, or Best Buy or Walmart, those, uh, these calculators are at those locations too. So that's what you need to get started with Essentials of Statistics.